see I'm on the Dune, Dune 45. It's very, very windy. Well, I climbed up almost to the top. You can see the thing right there. The view surrounding me is unbelievable. And it's so windy that I'm starting to go down right now. But it was worth it, believe me. Wow, what an amazing view, guys. All right, look at the sand running in the wind. Wow. Hi guys, my name is Peace and I'm traveling around the world. So let's peace out and go. Good afternoon, guys. Tonight, we will be sleeping right here in the middle of the desert, in the middle of nowhere, in South Namibia, at a lodge, <laughs> after all. But in the middle of the desert, right in the middle of nature. Look at this beautiful view. This place is called the Agama Lodge, and uh, we will be staying here, but right now we are on the way to the amazing and very famous dunes, the red, beautiful dunes of Namibia. The one which is called the Dune 45. It is at the area of Sosus Vle, and soon we will show you that beautiful place. Well, uh, it should be interesting to be here tonight. It will be probably very dark, and uh, some animals might come up, you know, close to our uh, room or something like that. Uh, here is the reception. Uh, let's check it out for a minute. You can see the vast desert right there and the uh, reception right here. Wow, very nice. Look how beautiful they made it here. Wow, what a beautiful lobby. In the middle of nowhere. Look, they even have a swimming pool right here. How beautiful is that? Wow. Well, look at that. Wow, wow, we were. Wow, wow, we were. Well, in today's world, everything is possible in the middle of the desert. Just amazing. So we will continue to Dune 45 and we'll talk later. to Dune 45. What an amazing place. Look at this. Wow. I don't know if that is an eagle flying right there above the dune. Seems like one. Wow, how amazing this is. Shame I don't have a zoom right now. Look at this amazing sight. Oh my Lord. This is just breathtaking. There's no words to describe it. All right, now, let me just tell you one thing. Do you know why this is called Dune 45? Well, here's the thing. This area is called Sosus Vle. And there is another gate, not far away from here, which is called another area, they call it a gate, I don't know why, which is called Sesrim. And the road that is connecting from Sesrim to Sosus Vle, Sasus Vle, yeah, this is how they say it, is about 45 kilometers. And therefore, they gave this dune the name Dune 45. You just tell me if you don't love these trees, <laughs> these African trees. I don't know why, but I have a special connection to them. Uh, these broken uh, trees, I can't even describe. Uh, what exactly they mean to me, but uh, it's something that I've been dreaming all my life to see in person. Wow, this is so gorgeous. 
Uh, I even hear some other bird in here. Oh, a little birdie over there. Wow. You would think that in such an area, no one would be. Well, look at this dry land here, right in front of the dune. Okay. I'm gonna try to climb this dune up. Let's see if I can actually do it. All right. Ah, uh, let me tell you something. This is very, very hard because you are actually uh, climbing sand and it's not easy at all, especially when there is a wind. Oh, oh there is a beetle. Look at that beetle. Yeah, there is a beetle. Wow. Well, that beetle ran down. But I almost fell all the sand back. So I'm gonna try once more, see if it's even possible. So far, it's tiring because you sink into the, into the sand, as you can see right here. But you know something? I'm not very far from there. It's very hot. I have the water right here. And you can see the wind is blowing in my face and all over the place. So at least you can see I've made it quite far up. Look how beautiful this is, this entire area. You can see my vehicle right there and my buddy sitting in the car. And uh, what a beautiful view. Wow. Okay. As you can see, I'm close to the top, but I'm not gonna go there. It's too high up, and it's gorgeous enough from here. Look at that. Oh my, oh my, this is stunning. Wow. All right, it's very hard. You can hear me breathing probably very hard. Yeah, it is hard to climb. Let me tell you something, those beetles are running up and down as if it's nothing. Well, yeah, it ain't nothing. Ah, okay, very windy up here. You can imagine, you can see the, the sand flying all over. You can see at the tip how the sand is flying. And this is actually how the sand is moving and what forms the dunes. They are changing constantly all over. As you can see, I'm on the dune, dune 45. It's very, very windy. Well, I climbed up almost to the top. You can see the tip of the dune right there. The view surrounding me is unbelievable. And it's so windy that I'm starting to go down right now, but, it was worth it, believe me. Wow, what an amazing view, guys. All right, look, this is just amazing. Look at the sand running in the wind. Wow, it's very, very windy. You can see my steps right here. Wow, I better start going down because it's very, very windy. Beautiful. What a great adventure. <laughs> I've made it down, guys. There's the dune from one side. Certain sides, it seems not that high, but I'm telling you, uh, it's pretty high. I'm going to try to surround the dune. Let's see how it looks like from the other side. Wow, it was quite an adventure to climb up this dune. Let me tell you something, going down, uh, it's even harder, actually because uh, the wind is very strong up there and the sand is flying all over into your eyes and you sink in into the sand, of course, uh, worse than in snow and the sand is quite heavy. And then uh, you can fall if you don't watch out and uh, that's for sure not a good idea up here in the heat of the Namib desert. So, uh, 
I'm circling the Dune 45 and look how beautiful it is. There's not a single soul in here, okay? Uh, it feels like in Mars, it feels like walking on Mars. There's not a single soul right now anywhere to be seen, uh, except my buddy who is sitting in the car waiting for me because he didn't like the idea of climbing up the dune. Uh, so uh, actually you cannot circle that dune as you see here. Uh, it finishes right there, getting connected to another, another dune. So there's no point of circling it. So I would say I would return to the car and uh, let me just say, well, God's creation on earth, or some of you would call it nature, whatever it is, it is nature and it is beautiful. It is stunning. And as much that I would say would not really uh, be describing this beautiful place or be deserving the right title. So I hope you will enjoy it once I'll be uploading this video and you'll see the amazing red dunes of Namibia. amazing tree middle of the desert full of nests you can hear the birds there wow this is a scene that you see only in Africa there you go a bird just left Alright guys, this is our room, the sweet India Gama Lodge in Solitaire, Namibia. Look, what a beautiful and amazing suite we got. Wow! Just look at that. Welcome to the Agama Lodge. Wow! Man! Would you believe that? Would you believe that? In the middle of nowhere, in the middle of the Namibian desert. Such a beautiful and amazing suite. Well, look at the uh, sinks. Hey! <laughs> Bathroom and shower. Even a bench to sit if you need. Wow, this is amazing. And believe it or not, it's not even that expensive as it looks like. We didn't pay that much. Let's see the balcony. Wawiwa. Wawiwa. There you go. That's the balcony, guys. And I've got a secret for you. We have stairs to go up to. And you know what's there? This is the night deck. You can go up here and have your bed right here and sleep here at night. Because at night in the desert, it's cool. Well, look how beautiful it is. Wow. <laughs> oh my. Unbelievable. Can you believe that? Well, believe that. Let me tell you something. I'm just back from the dunes. I'm knocked out, wrecked out, whatever you want to call it. Very tiring, very hot. And at least I got a good room where to stay tonight. So maybe I'll jump into the pool right there. And maybe we'll have a good time too, you know? We need to stop vlogging and relax. <laughs> or as I say, peace out and go. Now we'll just peace out. Go will do tomorrow. 
wait, 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 wait. I'm suddenly seeing some warthogs right here in the garden, uh, crawling around. Look at them right there. I hope you see them with the camera. One is running forward and one is still back there eating. Uh, I've heard from the reception in the hotel that they are sometimes coming around after sunset to drink here, sometimes from the water that's going up down from the pool. And uh, yeah, it is true, you actually see them right here. You know that these animals are easy prey for the lions uh, here in Africa. If you ever saw a uh, National Geographic film or BBC, you already know. <laughs> how easy it is for the lion to catch this particular animal uh, unlike uh, the zebras or uh, other big animals but there are plenty of them as you can see they went down there to drink there's a water hole right there for them I guess they have a very good time here in this lot well it's starting to get dark so for now goodbye thank you <music> the video I'm pretty sure you have enjoyed it didn't you so let me recommend that you watch this one next but before you do that I'll really appreciate if you leave a big like and also subscribe if you want to enjoy more videos just like this peace